Salve, amica, and welcome. Today we are in John chapter 3, finishing off the very last verse of this paragraph, that being verse 21. Here is our rubric, everything that we're looking for as we go through this text. Let's go ahead and get started. Qui autem facet veritatem venit ad lucum ut manifestentur eius opera quia in deo sunt facta. And there we have it. Very first word in here is a relative pronoun, so that's interesting. It's got autem, which we know almost always translates as but, though the other option is however. So, qui, the last qui that we had is nominative same with the masculine, so we should assume it's probably the same thing. Looking at our verb in this relative clause, though, we see facit there, it, tells us third person, singular, present, active, indicative. So, qui is confirmed the same as that one. Drawing that down. Who does or makes... Veritatem, we em right there is a accusative, singular and feminine form. Truth. When it exact same as that one, so I'm just going to draw that down. Same two options. Comes or came. Ad lucem. Another exact same as we had before. So drawing that down. To or toward light. Ut, so another purpose or another result clause. Taking a look ahead at manifestentor, manifesto manifestare. So e right there tells us that this is a subjunctive. I'm going to have to parse it underneath because of how many arguantur had. So entur, actually doing. Yeah, I think the uh, only difference is conjugation. So while this is a third, this is a second. So I'm just going to pull that down actually. Same exact form. Light and then may be in order that or with the result that may be manifested. So we'll figure that out in a moment. Eus is genitive singular exactly like that one. Opera is the same as that one. No need to parse either of those. His, interesting though that they're swapped in position down here. Makes me wonder now, because I, I don't remember, if the Greek also has these two swapped. Well, we'll find out in the video this coming Friday. So, in order that his works may be manifested, or with the result that his works may be manifested. Honestly, uh, this one could go either way. We have no clear word indicating one way or the other. In our previous one, which we are treating as a purpose, it's got non, which is normally a marker of the result. I'm treating it as a purpose because that's what it was in the previous time that we ran into something like this. So it might be a change in the Latin that I'm not aware of. So this one, I'm going to leave open. I'm going to write down both options, and then the Greek will tell us which one is the correct one. So purpose or result in order that or with the result that his works may be manifested. Quia because or that in Deo, plus the dative here. Dative, no, not dative, that's Greek. Ablative, singular, masculine. In God, sunt facta. Facio facere feci factum. A right there tells us that this is a nominative plural neuter. This is a perfect passive participle, and you might be wondering why I'm not treating this as an indicative since we got soon right there. The reason I'm not doing that is because soon is appearing before the participial form. Normally, whenever you find a paraphrastic perfect passive indicative or subjunctive, the form of soon appears after the adjective. Almost never separated by anything and I don't think it ever appears beforehand. So since we've got soon appearing before facta, that means that something else must be going on. That must mean, at least I would think that would mean, that soon is not fulfilling the normal function with facta, and instead acting either as an indication of existence, whatever the proper term that is, or as a uh, connecting of two things, a uh, linking verb. So soon itself is third person, plural, present, active, and indicative. So, 
that they are done in God, or because they are done in God. I think because makes more sense. We could do they have been done. But again, based on the location assumed, I don't think that's the best way. I think as we have it right now is is good at the very least. So there's verse 21. Let's take a look at it in its own context. And then from verse 1, checking, yes, we did everything. But who does truth comes or came to light in order that, or with the result that, his works may be manifested, because they are done in God. Now from verse 1, the very last time that I have to read this huge stack of papers. But there was man of Pharisees, Nicodemus by name, ruler or prince of Jews. This man came to him at night, and he said to him, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God, a teacher, for no one is able to do these signs which you yourself do unless God is with him. Remember, this is one of the errors that we had. Jesus responded and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless someone has been born anew, he is not able to see kingdom of God. Nicodemus says to him, In what way is man able to be born since he is old? Surely he is not able to go inside a second time again into his mother's womb and to be born. Responded Jesus, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless someone has been born from water, out of water and spirit, he is not able to enter into kingdom of God. What has been born of flesh is flesh, and what has been born of spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, it is needful for you to be born again afresh and new. Spirit blows where it wishes, and its voice you hear, but you do not know from where it comes and to where it goes. Thus is all, thus are, or is all, everyone who has been born from spirit. Responded Nicodemus and said to him, How are these able to happen? Responded Jesus and said to him, You are master of Israel, and you do not know these? Amen, amen, I say to you, because that what we know we say, and what we have seen we testify, and our testimony you do not receive. If I said terrestrial to you, and you do not believe, how if I will have said to you celestial, will you believe? And no one ascended into heaven unless someone descended from heaven, son of man who is in heaven. And thus Moses, exalted servant in wilderness, thus it is necessary or proper for son of man to be exalted, in order that everyone who believes in him may not die but have life eternal. For thus God adored the world with the result that his own son, only begotten, he gave with the result that, technically purpose, as it's supposed to be from the Greek, everyone who believes in him does not perish, but has life eternal. God did not sin, for God did not send his own son into the world in order that he may judge the world, but in order that the world may be saved through him. Who believes in him is not judged, but who does not believe already has been judged because he did not believe in name of one begotten Son of God. But this is judgment, that light came into the world, and men loved rather darkness than light, for their deeds' works were evil. For everyone who does evils hates light, and does not come, did not come to light, in order that his deeds may not be made known. But who does truth comes or came to light in order that, or with the result that, his works may be manifested because they are done in God. And there we have it. Thank you very much for joining me with this paragraph, through the, uh, this paragraph. I hope taking a look at all of it has been helpful for you, and I hope that you have a, a very good day. And Nat, if you're watching, I'm sorry I forgot your name. Farewell. Hey, not asleep yet? That's okay. I've got tons of other equally sleep-inducing videos for you to watch, check them out.